It's a shame that these books that I've been finding do not contain information about this dungeon. But perhaps this will contain other secrets. Ah, I feel more nimble, better able to dodge foes. Yes, this will certainly be useful. I should press forward into that area beyond the secret wall. Yes, the sooner I do that, the sooner I can put this new nimbleness to the test. Time to press forward. Welcome back, folks, to Let's Play Dungeon Hack, and when last we left off, we're currently on the 11th floor of this dungeon, which is very much like the 10th floor of this dungeon, and the 8th floor of this dungeon. We've seen this layout quite a lot, and that book gave us one point of dexterity, which is very important, because that means that we now have 15, and we have minus one armor class right now. We gained a point of armor class for that point of dexterity, which is good, and we'll be using that extra point of armor class to better avoid foes like the Umber Hulk and the Slithermorphs that we've been encountering here. Like that Umber Hulk there. Hello, I'm this way. I completely avoided hitting you there, because you're walking this way, entirely ignoring that I'm here. We'll just wait for you to come here in your own time and defeat you. The enemy behind you, though, aha, that's a secret switch that I definitely won't avoid, because it's right here. And that opened up this way, and this way has nothing there, and nothing there. And we see another poor unfortunate soul that was trapped here, and died here. But at least I didn't miss that switch, eh? Only eight points of damage, that's really not that much, I'm afraid, Mr. Umber Hulk. You, however, will deal a lot more. That is, if you're not dead by the time you try and swing at me. I like the fact that we have more decks, and I like the fact that we have such a powerful weapon. We just need to find some armor. I know we have this, uh, magical bandit mail, but some magical plate mail would be that much better. Okay, nothing over here. There's another, uh, niche there that is empty. We're finding a lot of empty ones of those. What about in here? Hello, Mr. Slithermorph! Come this way! Your doom is at hand! Excellent. You were also holding some rations. We don't need those. There's also this here. It is a switch! I did not know it was a switch, but it opens up this door behind us. Which is handy because we wanted to get in here. Maybe there's some awesome treasure in here. Or maybe there are some really, really slow enemies in here. That's okay, we can deal with slow enemies. When they eventually get to us. You're not actually going to come out here, are you? No, no you are not. You, however, are going to perish, and you will perish in a moment too. Excellent. Anything in here at all? The answer is a resounding no. Nothing. So we will go this way instead, and have a look in here. Hello! How are you? Thanks for trying to kill me. I'm afraid it's not going to work out well for you. You're just far too slow. You, however, are the exact opposite. You are not slow. And you are much more dangerous. Hello! How are you? I should have been far more worried about that. If I was actually playing D&D, I would be very worried about rounding a corner and an Umber Hulk was looking right at me. That would not be a good sight. At all. It doesn't matter what level you are. You don't want to just meet an Umber Hulk on your travels. Ever. And I walked right next to you. That was foolish, as I just took 19 points of damage. That's okay, though, because I can just heal all of that up. As soon as I defeat you. There we go, let's just deal with that injury. It's a substantial one, but nothing some Cure Critical, or a couple of castings of Cure Critical, won't be able to solve. To this day, that spell in this game is so variable in how well it does. Moving on. I haven't even commented on the fact that everything is very red here. Also, that was a hit I really didn't want to take, but again, enemies are being, uh, quite sneaky in how they attack me. Alright, I know you're there, and you know I'm here, and that was ten points of damage. The small amount of damage that the, uh, there we go, the small amount of damage that the, uh, enemies there deal does add up. It makes me that much more susceptible to being hurt by the Slithermorphs there. And I know there is a Slithermorph up there, so I'm just going to quickly heal up quite a lot. 
I don't want to get defeated by that Slithermorph, but unfortunately, healing like this means that I can't see the map, which means I can't keep my eyes open for where that Slithermorph is. Are you around here? I think you're around here, in this large open area. I'm beginning to regret going around this corner now. Would you like to come this way? Would you like to perish immediately? The answer is yes you would! Marvelous! That makes things so much easier. There is this here. Nothing in here. There's nothing in a lot of those recently. Also, do I really want to uh, have a look at that? I probably do at some point. I do. It's probably going to lead to somewhere, like maybe on the other side, uh, where I couldn't get access to in the uh, southwestern corner. Perhaps. There was a... yep, there was another Slithermorph. I uh, remembered correctly, which is good. Okay, you gone? You are dead. Excellent. And bless has expired. Everything is about to expire. Just at a bad time, too, because there is an Umber Hulk. Hopefully I'll be able to defeat an Umber Hulk just fine without bless. Come round the corner. Excellent. You are dead. Anything else in here? Well, there is a Slithermorph, which is even worse to encounter with all of my spells of expiring. And hopefully Spiritual Hammer won't expire right now, because that would be really awkward. You know I'm over here, Mr. Slitherwolf. I'm over here. There we go, you figured it out. Too late, though, because now you're dead. And here is a Wand of Smiting. Oh my! I have another Wand of Smiting. That is... horrifying. So... Is this Wand of Smiting as powerful as the Wand of Smiting I currently have? Does this mean that I can now dual wield Wands of Smiting? There is only one way to find out, and that is that I am going to uh, try it and see what happens. What's likely to happen is that it's not going to be as good and we're going to die horribly, but I don't think there is a weaker Wand of Smiting in the game. So now I have two of them. That is horrifying. What do we have here? That is the Ring of Might. Maybe I'll try that Ring of uh, Shocking Grasp, now that we are outside the area where Skeladas are. It could work. We could deal colossal amounts of damage now. I should have probably equipped that a lot earlier. But hey, I've equipped it now. And now we're going to try not using a Spiritual Hammer. We're just going to try attacking in melee for a little bit. After all, we do have a lot of uh, strength. Maybe this is a better idea. Double melee attacks. The only thing that could go wrong is that the uh, other Wand of Smiting isn't as good, and then we just switch back to a uh, different weapon. There is an enemy over there that we can uh, test this out on. Let's go, and let's try not to ram into any walls, eh, Celadran? This one looks very similar to the other wand that I'm currently using. Perhaps it's just as effective. There's only one way to test, and that is to find a foe to use it on. Is there a foe over here? Is there a foe anywhere that I can... Aha! An Umber Hulk. Let's give it a try. Yes, indeed! I believe they are just as effective. Both of them are exactly the same. This means that I can now dual-wield colossal amounts of melee damage. I think I may have found my replacement for the Spiritual Hammer. We now have two ones of smiting. That is ridiculous. The game is being very generous to us. Very generous indeed. We want to go over here and link up to that area. Actually, maybe this area does not link up to that area. That would be surprising, but not unexpected. There is a Slithermorph. Have at thee! That was 44 damage in two hits. I think we've definitely found a replacement. We'll use the Spiritual Hammer if we need to keep a foe at a distance, but for now, we've definitely found something really, really powerful. Nothing there. Okay, I think I might have explored everything here. That said, there is this area which is unexplored. We'll either find a way into there from here, or it's here. Let's have a look while we're here right now. Is that an Umber Hulk? It's a Slithermorph! You fool! We are ridiculously powerful now. We can just kill these enemies without any problems. Any problems at all. There are no switches here. No, and there are no switches here either. 
and there are no switches on this wall, either. No, it would seem not. The last place that we can look is there. It's actually very likely that there is a switch there, if there is any switch at all. I may have missed the switch that was there. Anything here? The answer is no. So hopefully we'll find a way to get there from the central uh, corridor. Only one way to find out, and that is to go into the various teleporters that we've found, like this one. We haven't been in this one yet, and that brings us to here. Which is good, because we've encountered a Slithermorph that perished immediately. My having two wands of smiting is just ridiculous. You know I should be taking massive penalties to hit because I'm dual wielding and I don't have the uh, abilities to do that effectively, but I'm glad the game isn't taking that into consideration, and I have already found the stairs down to the next floor. Already have I found- oh dear, that looks horrifying. I don't know what that is. I have no idea what that is, and you know what? I think it's time to uh, switch back to the, um, yep, think it's time to switch back to the spiritual hammer, because, uh, oh dear. Let's drop that, shall we? And make some room on, I think, this screen? Yes, this screen. We'll put that there, and then we'll cast a spiritual hammer. Or five, because that thing is nasty. And it hit me for quite a lot of damage. Hopefully we can figure out what it is, and then we can defeat more of them later. I have no idea what that- it looked undead. I could use turn undead. But I think uh, killing it is probably uh, more prudent. Alright, where is that foe? That foe is there. I don't have that far to uh, back up. Which is unfortunate, and where is the, uh... Where did I put that, uh, wand? I put it here. Right. I may need to switch to it soon enough. You are pretty fast. Fortunately, oh dear, you do not take that much damage from the, uh, Wand of Smiting. You do not take that much damage from it. You also move relatively qu- Oh my, you hit hard! You hit really hard! That is bad. That is really bad! Okay! You went into the teleporter! That's even worse, because then I will be trapped when I face you. Oh dear. Maybe you were guarding something awesome here? You were guarding nothing awesome. I'm gonna have to go and face you, aren't I? Oh yes, I am. That's bad. Okay! It could be worse, Celadran. It's really not any worse. I don't see how it could get worse. I'm going to actually cast a negative plane protection here. I have a feeling it might come in handy. Just have a feeling it might save our bacon. We don't even have any bacon in our backpacks, unless that's what the iron rations are. But it will still save it. Also, this is Cure Serious, and it healed about four points of damage. Let's just uh, use Cure Light, and we're definitely going to have to save here, because, uh, gonna have to fight the difficult foe of this floor like this, trapped, with weapons that don't appear to be doing very much to it. Okay, where are you? You are there. No, you are not there. Are you dead? Did you, did you die? Did you die because you teleported here and there was an enemy there? Does it count as me killing it? It was an undead beast, and that does indeed count as me killing it. Marvelous! What did you have? You have a garnet ring. I don't know what that does. You also have a club. It's magical. Don't know what that does. You have plate mail. Aha! You have plate mail! I finally have some plate mail! So long, minus one armor class. I now have minus one armor class. That is the most disappointing suit of plate mail I've ever seen. So the bandit mail was really magical, and the plate mail isn't that magical. It's exactly the same armor class, but you know what? I'm gonna keep it anyway. I don't know what this ring does. I'm actually going to identify what this ring does. That involves using one of the charges on our scrying glass, and it's definitely going to be worth it, because uh, magical rings are a rare thing indeed. What is this ring? It is a ring of wisdom. Well, a ring of wisdom might come in handy. It definitely will come in handy. 
we have the Ring of Shocking Grasp and the Ring of Might. I don't know if I want to replace either of those rings with the Ring of Wisdom, but still, not bad. Also, we don't need a Vermilion Potion. Maybe we do need a Vermilion Potion, but either way, we dropped a Vermilion Potion. I don't know if we actually need that Chain Mail either. But hey, we finally have Plate Mail! My wishes for Plate Mail have finally been answered, and unfortunately, I have learned that sometimes you can get a not very good piece of plate mail. But we have plate mail at least, and that is good. We have the same armor class as we had before, but at least I have plate mail. Right, let's uh, do some uh, buffing, shall we? That undead beast was horrifying. I don't want to encounter another one of them for quite a while, but we have found the stairs down, which is good. More aid here and a bless, and then a true seeing, and I think we'll uh, stick with double ones of smiting. Seems like a good idea. There we go. Excellent. Onwards we go. We've nearly explored most of this floor. We only really need to explore the central area, and this floor is done and completed. Alright, we'll go here, and this will bring us over to the area where we can get to the central area. Actually, it doesn't. It brings us over to here. We need to go into that tele- Oh, it's that teleporter we need to go into, isn't it? Yes, it's that one. I was mixing up my teleporters there, which is okay, because now we are clad in plate mail. Rubbish plate mail, in comparison to what we had before, but it's still pretty decent. If we hadn't had the abandoned uh, mail, I'd be really happy to see that plate mail right now, but I did. So it's sort of a, uh, well, I have it now, and you are dead. I like having two ones of smiting, though. The game has been very generous in that regard. Hello, there are lots of Slithermorphs here. Fortunately, I can take them all out very easily with these uh, weapons. And another one. And then there is an Umba Hulk there. Hmm, my arms don't feel so heavy anymore. There's definitely something about these corridors that is, uh, perhaps reducing our strength. With these uh, gauntlets, of course, that doesn't really do anything. It was very fortunate that we uh, got those gauntlets all that time ago. And you are soon to perish. You are dead! Marvellous. Any foes up here? There's that that we can look through, and there's nothing there. There's a door over here, though. We could, uh, ah, hello! How are you? You're soon to perish. There we go. Excellent. Anything down there? We might as well go and explore around there. We might as well go and finish off the whole floor. There's that there. Yep, there's a door there, and we can't open it there. There is a key that we need to uh, use. I believe we held on to that key, did we? We did hold on to that key. Let's just use that right now. There we go. Slithermorph. Dead morph, more like it after, of course, 20 points of damage directed at our face, which is uh, unfortunate, but we survived. And was there anything in here worth it? No. No, there wasn't. Is there ever anything worth it behind the uh, doors that lead to small areas? Not often, but sometimes. It's always worth checking it out. We'll just uh, use heal. You never know when we might encounter another undead beast. No undead beasts down here, though. Nothing down here, actually. I think the only place that we need to explore on this entire floor is that way. Compare this floor to the previous one, full of the Ettins and Scaladas that was so difficult to get through, and then look at this one, which was really, really easy to get through. Can we use this key? We can use this key! And there's you. 20 points of damage. Do not appreciate 20 points of damage. Do appreciate hitting you for 40 points of damage, though, and there was nothing here except some enemies. So we have now completely explored the 11th floor of this dungeon. In its entirety, it is completely clear. So I think it's time to uh, head to the stairs down. There's nothing really that we need to uh, do here apart from head down to the next location, and of course defeat you, because hey, more experience, always a good thing. So we will head this way, and down into here, and then- Oh, hello! Did you just go into that teleporter? You did just go into that teleporter. You thought you were being sneaky, but I know where you've gone, and I'm going to defeat you. 
There we go, there you are. Oh, there are two enemies. Aha! Double sneakiness, eh? Well, you're both dead now, so that wasn't very sneaky at all. We want to go into that teleporter, which leads to the exit. We could also grab some of the items that we left here, like this potion, because we now have room to take it. We could also take this club. There's really no reason to take this club, but I'll take it anyway. You never know, it might have super magical powers. It likely does not have super magical powers. The rations are tasty, though. And so, we're going to head down here, and here are the stairs leading down. And when we come back, folks, we will go down to the next floor of this dungeon. This is a really short floor. I mean, the undead beast was dangerous, but hey, a second wand of smiting. Can't complain about a second one of them. We will be heading down to the twelfth floor of this dungeon. Can anything stop us now? The answer, of course, is yes. There are loads of enemies that could stop us. Hubris will be Celadran's downfall, and mine as well. We are still very vulnerable, and one death effect will kill us just as effectively as countless hits from a Scalader, and about five times more from an Umber Hulk. And so, I'll catch you next time, folks. And I'll see you then. Later. Perhaps I should have used my ability to turn undead against that undead monstrosity. But the spiritual hammer and my, uh, wands here managed to do just fine. And then it just died. Perhaps the, uh, teleportation had a negative effect when the creature appeared in a space that another foe was in. It just obliterated them. I should be very careful when I step in teleporters. That might happen to me. But it hasn't yet. And soon I will be heading down to the next floor, and... Is it me, or are these floors starting to appear to be somewhat familiar in design? I'm sure it's just me. They can't have gotten lazy with their dungeon design. That would be... foolish. Later.